Liberty, 21, Arkansas, 19. And, and yes, I actually had eyes on this ballgame. Liberty's defense was surprisingly good in this game. I could not believe what I was watching here. <laughs> um, let's, uh, let's pull it up on the screen so that you can see exactly what we're talking about here. Uh, 3.4 yards per rush for Arkansas. They got Rocket Sanders to 60 yards rushing on the day. Uh, now, part of it was because they, they got a lead. You know, they were up 21-3 to three at the half. And, and it completely threw Arkansas's game plan out of here. Now, Arkansas was able to come back and score 14 points in the fourth quarter. But, uh, so now, of course, Jonathan Bennett, who everybody had been talking about having the flu all week, came out 15 out of 25, 224 yards, three touchdowns, one pick. Uh, they ran the ball 38 times for 91 yards, so it's not like they were great, but they still had the threat of it. But, man, this Douglas kid, seven catches, 145 yards, and a touchdown. Like, it, they they were awesome. Liberty was awesome. Uh, I, I look at these numbers, and I'm just like, how how did we get here? You know, Arkansas did outgain them, but, of course, they were coming from behind basically the entire ball game. Liberty got that fast start, and then their defense was able to hang on. And I could not have seen that coming from a Hugh Freeze team, especially one where there was such a talent discrepancy. Uh, Mike Smith does jump in. He said Connecticut plays Liberty next week. Yeah, those are two teams that are, I mean, absolutely peaking right now. Liberty's only got one loss on the season. Only one loss. Just unreal. Um, So let's talk about this. You know, I I was going to talk about Mississippi State and Auburn. Uh, probably going to cut that out due to time constraints today. But Auburn, you know, yes, they hired John Cohen. And, of course, he was the AD at Mississippi State when all of that mess was going on with Hugh Freeze and Dan Mullen and all that, right? Um, I, I'm a little concerned with the fact that uh, so many people are on this. I did not believe that Auburn would hire Hugh Freeze because of the because of the Ole Miss stuff, because of even things that have gone on at Liberty. Remember, he was, over the summer, we talked about him DMing a sexual assault victim at Liberty, uh, talking about how great the AD is at Liberty, and blah, I mean, it was just completely ridiculous. However, take all that stuff away, which I don't think you can, but if you take it all away... The guy wins. So here's the question when it comes to the Auburn job. And I know Jay Hood jumps in. Yeah, what what does this mean for Coach Freeze's future? I I need to know how desperate Auburn is to win. If they cannot get Lane Freeze, Lane Freeze, (laughs) if they can't get Lane Kiffin, do they offer a just ridiculous contract to Hugh Freeze? He's already Freeze is set up at Liberty. I think it would be in his best interest to stay at Liberty. It's a private institution. You don't have to worry a whole lot about really anything. We we've seen the amount of money that they made. I watched a, a documentary called God Forbid the other night with my wife, and it talked about Liberty University and their two billion dollar endowment and all this stuff. And I know that they've had all the problems with the Falwells and yeah, we can talk about the religious aspect and and whatever, right? We we get all that. But here's the truth of the matter: Liberty is set up. They're going into Conference USA. Hugh Freeze could stay there and win forever, and the expectations would remain, uh, you know, whatever. Go Get seven wins. Get six or seven wins every year, and you're fine. It's basically Mark Stoops. But uh, does he want more? If Freeze wants more, and if Auburn is desperate, and Auburn can't get Deion Sanders, and they can't get Lane Kiffin, and they can't get, you know, whoever, Matt Rule, do they want to go after somebody like Hugh Freeze because he has proven that he can beat Alabama because he has proven he can win in the SEC? That's the question. I don't know uh, the answer to that. Um, I'm a little, I'm a little concerned. I will say that. <laughs> I'm a little concerned uh, because, I mean, Freeze wins everywhere he goes. I mean, just a fact of the matter. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.